So guys, grinding for the Lumina exotic hand cannon recently added to the game. Was I the only one after actually getting the Lumina that felt the Rose was actually the better hand cannon? Yep, weird. What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. So the Lumina, the newest exotic added into our collections no doubt which would just be voted by the majority of people. Now I don't say that because I feel the weapon isn't good enough, I feel that because the weapon is kind of ahead of the game. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe. So the Lumina, if used correctly in both PvE and PvP, is a force to be reckoned with. But if you're in a game where time to kill is most important, DPS is most important, and where we have all kinds of traits on armors which regen health and so forth, basically taking away the main points of this weapon, a weapon made in meaning to support other players isn't what this game's about, not right now anyway. I mean, this Illumina does indeed meet the style of play many enjoy, but realistically that style of play we see within other games, and not yours truly. I ain't saying being a team player, a support player is a bad thing or a new thing to the Destiny universe because that's BS, but support weapons are something new. The Illumina could indeed be a great weapon and I believe its time will come sometime in the future. But at the moment, I don't actually think this weapon will be used to its fullest potential, just on the basics of the way Destiny is played. I definitely can't see non-dedicated teams playing PvP, going into matches, aiming to follow random teammates around trying to buff them. Even though it really does work and Illumina is capable of making certain weapons truly OP, weapons such as the Sturm one tap you, yes you heard that right, if you buff somebody using the Sturm, as long as they get a kill with the Drang before so, switching to that Sturm, allows them to literally one tap you as you can see on the screen now, it gives this weapon the power of a sniper, which is crazy. But realistically, as good as the Lumina is and can be, it's time in my opinion is not right now. And it's for this very reason I bring you this video, I actually think the Rose is the better hand cannon of the two at the moment. Now don't get it twisted, comparing an exotic to a legendary surely isn't fair, yes you are right. Exotics have one-off perks, one-off intrinsics and unique looks and feel, but weapon wise, these two on paper, taking away Lumina's exotic benefits, which like I said are way ahead of the game, I feel the Rose is actually the better weapon, especially for PvP. Now I ain't a major PvP hand cannon kind of guy. I got Lunas, didn't really enjoy it. Got Fawn, yeah it's good, but I'd still rather use other things. Got a perfect drawed or stringer, prefer my bygones or last Expedition. Got the last word, fired it twice. But people, as soon as I fought the Rose, it felt special, super snappy. What seems like great aim assist, Minus the exotic benefits of Lumina perk wise, the Rose has actually better perks and you can apply a mod and a masterwork and even a damn shader making it look absolutely epic. Plus you can also slot another exotic weapon with the Rose. Now if you do hear me out, try this thing in PvP, I guarantee you will enjoy it especially if hand cannons are your go to. I mean yes, it doesn't have rampage, it doesn't have kill clip, it doesn't have a range finder, but people, it does not need them. This basic weapon is a beast without additional benefits like said perks. Plus it's reticle or iron sights are some of the best for hand cannons I've ever seen in the game. Now if you want to try this out, you can repurchase it from your collections. So go ahead people and give it a try. I guarantee you will enjoy this weapon. In the background now is a little gameplay footage of me using this in PvP. As you would with hand cannons, normally pairing them with a sniper or maybe even a shotgun if that's how you do things. But yeah people, give this weapon a chance. I guarantee you will enjoy it. But yes guys, this is my opinion on the rolls and the Lumina. I would take the rolls all day long. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, it really does help out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully I will see you on that next one. Fire team that fights together, stays together. Keep this up and the battle is yours. Zone B lost.
Be captured, and that's why we have fire team. You're getting stronger as you fight. I love it. I need a hunter like you with the red hair. Zone C lost. Power play. Enemy has your zone. They've taken your lead. Get it back. Captured. Three minutes left. I need a hunter like you with the ring. Zone C captured. Enemy can't kill if they're dead. <laughs> They've taken your lead. Get it back. You've gained the lead. You captured Zone B. Zone advantage is yours. Hunters like you blaze a path for the rest of us. Five minutes remaining. Zone B lost. I love it. down. Zone B captured. Zone advantage is yours. What can stop you if you fight together? Nothing. Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. Hunters like you blaze a path for the rest of us. Nice. One minute left.
fire team that fights together stays together. Some people think I don't like hunters. I don't. I love 